this is probably not a good time to run out to the store and pick up some groceries. No, <laughs> no. and I'm sure those folks are dealing with it today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some spots have already picked up two inches of rain. The heaviest is coming into downtown. We can actually hear it sure on the roof here at News Channel 5. We're close to First Horizon Park. Uh, so the big concern here was the wind. Right, and the potential for some isolated tornadoes. We have not had a warning issued yet, but we do have some 50 mile per hour wind gusts possible. And like I mentioned, that strong, heavy rain coming into downtown. Heather's got the latest with what's happening in Nashville. Right, so it is coming into downtown right now. This is actually our sky camera. We could see some buildings a minute ago, but that line is moving through downtown at the moment. It just speaks to how the visibility really drops as this line goes through and the wind is really picking up as well. Now the morning round of rain that we had, even the rain that's out ahead of the main line, it's actually worked over the atmosphere a bit, so we haven't had a whole lot of instability to work with today. That's a good thing. That somewhat lowers the severe threat. Now the risk to see some strong straight line wind. It is still there, but we have been able to take that tornado threat down a notch. It's still not zero, but it's not very high. This is looking at our power of five radars right now. You can see where that line currently stretches from Kentucky down into southern portions of Middle Tennessee. We only have a handful of lightning strikes. You can count them on one hand, and that also tells you that there's not a whole lot of instability right now for this line that it's working with. Up towards Portland, we've got that line moving through you right now, getting ready to move through Gallatin, getting ready to push into Wilson County for Lebanon, Mount Juliet, down into Franklin. Here's a list of times around 430. It's expected to be around Murfreesboro. Towards our south and west, this is where we have seen the greatest potential with some instability there where we may get some rotating storms, but thankfully right now nothing is rotating and storms seem to be behaving themselves. Quick look at timing there too. Shelbyville, you're looking at about 447 and 5 o'clock for Bellevue. Now the good news, Bree, is that behind this line, some folks are in the clear already. Say so we've been talking about this a lot today, Heather. Quick hitting storms are advantageous because it means we get to issue some all clears sooner rather than later, but it also means you get less lead time if you're ahead of it. This actual line is moving around 60 miles per hour, so that's highway speed, and you know during the afternoon commute, most of us are not moving at highway speed. So as far as the strongest portion of the line, Heather just showed you it's coming out. It's just about to come into Allen County in Kentucky, down into Sumner. So it was a, a hot mess along Interstate 65 north of Nashville. This comes through Portland. It's just about to come into downtown. I pulled up our Acme feed and seed camera downtown as well. So this is looking west. And again, visibility was a lot better three minutes ago. A pounding, pouring rain. Some of the flags flying here as well. The buildings are helped to pr protect some of the wind gusts downtown. But we've all dealt with windy conditions today and yesterday. In the clear, that's the best thing we get to say. Areas behind the line, look, it's dry. Stewart County, Montgomery County, Houston, Humphreys, Benton, Decatur, Henry, up into Trigg and Callaway. You are in the clear as far as your severe weather threat. There is a flash flood warning in effect for Christian, Todd, and Trigg County. That goes until 645. There was some heavier rain there. This line of storms, like I said, moving very quickly. So it'll be out of the entire News Channel 5 viewing area. By 8 o'clock tonight, you're not going to have to worry about anything in the overnight time frame. You're just going to need to be ready to shiver tomorrow morning. Our rain chances go to zero by midnight, but the mercury goes all the way down into the 20s by tomorrow morning. It's going to be a very frigid day. Clouds stubborn to clear out tomorrow as well. Heather, it's going to keep Friday feeling pretty raw. Mm -hmm. And then as we head into the weekend, thankfully we moderate Sunday, hands down the pick day of the weekend.